Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Uh, we've had some difficult uh, technical stuff going on with the Chromebook the last couple of days, so I haven't really been able to post, but we're going to try to get as many done as we can today, and I guess that um, getting all of November and December done by the end of the day today is uh, not going to happen, but, but. December will be up hopefully by the end of November anyway we're gonna see what we can get done today I'd like to at least get November done today by the end of Thanksgiving so yeah I got about four hours before I gotta throw my turkey in the oven so we're gonna throw down cards for as many people as we can before I gotta head into the kitchen and start cooking all right who's next Capricorn, you're up. All right. This reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For November 2020. What's left of it, anyway? If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey now, madam. Just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate at all, please leave the cards on the table and walk away. If it's not your message, it's not your message. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. So this could have played out at any time during the month of November. And it can also be vice versa and play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Also, if you think you might want something that may, resol may resonate a little bit better, you can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. Okay. Uh, I think we got... Uh, yeah, I think I got all of that down. I've had like a half a cup of coffee and I've only been awake for about a half hour, so... Bear with me, guys. We're waking up with tarot this morning. Alright, Capricorn, why are you here? Nine of Wands reversed. Okay... walls tumbling down or I ain't got nothing left. We'll throw a clarifier on it in a second. I keep hearing I ain't got nothing left. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Six of cups. Okay. That. Hmm. been playing the game for a while. It's a soulmate card. And possibly someone you have some wonderful memories with. What do you think of them? King of Cups? Oh, well. Could be a water sign you're dealing with or a fire sign at this point. Hold of a lot of emotion for this person. What do you want from them? Three of Cups reversed. Oh. That's loaded. Hmm. Hmm. How do they feel about you? <laughs> Six of Pentacles in the upright. Feelings mutual, it's two sixes. They feel like this is a fair, equal give and take connection. They feel like you're a fair, equal give and take person. Things are evenly reciprocated. What do they think of you? Double reversed. Oh. I got nothing left. Breaking away.
This just got sketch. Hmm. Might be the rain beating down on my roof right now, but this just got sketch. Disconnecting. Disconnecting from toxic things or disconnecting from the connection. This is why we clarify, guys. What do they want from you? Ten of Pentacles. They want the... They want the abundance. They want the big brick house with the white picket fence and 2.5 kids in the pool and the dog and... The nice car in the driveway. They want the abundance. Do they want it for themselves? Do they want it for you? Do they want it for the connection? This is why we clarify. I'm going to lay these out and not touch the deck till the end. Let's get some clarity. <coughs> Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my Capricorn friends, please, for November 2020? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 2020. Okay, actually shuffle together. Thank you. Nine of Wands reversed about. Knight of Cups. So you want to be able to offer the cup, but you got nothing left to give? You don't have one last chance in you? That's, that's what I'm getting. Hmm. Why is the Six of Cups here? Okay. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Divine timing, communication. I gotta clean this table off. I think after this set, I'm just taking everything off the table. <laughs> I'm running out of room! I'm getting a sense of quick progression. That is something you've waited a long time for. Very deep feelings, but it's been a long, patient wait. A long, patient wait for that communication to come in. Huh. Okay. Why is the King of Cups here? The Fool.
deep emotions setting out on a path. One more. I'm getting a sense this is someone you've known for a while, but there's been a definite change in the connection. Four of Wands reversed comes out. Hmm. <laughs> For some of you, this might take a tower down. Got nothing left to give. You want to give the cup, not sure if you should. Taking down a tower if you jump. Okay, it's starting to make sense now. Three of Cups reversed. Why is the Three of Cups reversed here for what you want from the other person, Capricorn? Why is this Three of Cups reversed here? Star reversed. A disconnect, a healing that still needs to take place. Hanged man and a high priestess, huh? Huh? It's going to take a tower down. Capricorn. I'm getting this weird sense that somebody is already involved. Somewhere else with someone else. If it's going to take a tower down, there's somebody else involved. There's a disconnect. High Priestess calls for using intuition and following intuition. And the Hanged Man is cutting yourself out of the gallows and accepting something for what it is. Seeing things through the other person's eyes. Huh. Okay. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for what the other person wants from Capricorn? Right out. Ten of swords. Or how they feel. Oh. Huh. I have nothing left to give. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I should. Huh. One more. Temperance, another card of patience. You guys put each other through the ringer. 
Hanging out a long time. I'm getting weird. Okay. Why is the devil reversed here? I'm just going to shut up and throw the rest of the cards down and then we're going to talk about this. Thank you. Page of Cups. One more. One more on this double reverse, please. King of Pentacles. Why is a ton of pentacles here? Why is a ton of pentacles here? Eight of cups. One more. I flipped out that Five of Pentacles. We're going to put that back, see if it comes back out. Great deal of emotion. You want to jump, want to start that path, but it's going to take a tower down. Or if you jump in with this person, it's going to take a tower down. Disconnects possibly from something toxic or obsessive. The devil can speak of being obsessive as well. Messages of love. The King of Pentacles, abundance. You have what they want. Abundance. Walking away. Okay, Capricorn, what is up with this? I think there's somebody else involved here. Okay, so if I'm reading this right, you both want to cut the cord with something. For whatever reason, you're not. What's the obstacle here? Ace of Cups. New love. Starting over. Why is the Ace of Cups here? I'm catching a sense that this is just one of those connections where the timing has never been right. King of Cups reversed. One more.
Seven of Cups. Lots of cups. Capricorn, there's a whole lot of water on this table right now, just saying. So the obstacle. Starting something new and withdrawing emotionally from something else and making a choice. Capricorn, strangely enough, I think you're the one with the choice to make. There may be someone else involved. They want abundance, they want the dream, but in order for that you have to walk away from something where they do. And it's an impossible juggle, balls are going to hit the ground. Potential outcome, six of swords walking away. Why is the Six of Swords here? That Wait, that's not potential outcome. Possible resolution. Possible resolution, Six of Swords. Walking away. Wow. Why is the Six of Swords here? Strength in the Six of Cups reversed. going to take a tower down. It takes a lot of strength to put your life in the hands of fate. I'm hearing the question. Do you want to throw it all away for a motion for a moment of nostalgia? The timing has never been right. Outcome, Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Five of Swords came out. One more. Magician. Why the magician? Eight of Pentacles reversed. This is a warning.
Remember, I get a very strong sense that those are the people involved in this. The timing has never been right. As much as you both want to walk away and jump, The Queen of Swords will cut people out. And there will be a victory, but there will be a great cost to it. I mean, you'll have the tools to manifest life anew. But I don't think you'll have the tools, you know, the resources to do it with. If this makes any sense to anybody. The timing's never been right, and I don't think it's right now. Here's your advice. Three of Swords reversed, Ten of Cups reversed. Don't throw away your happiness avoiding heartbreak. Tower reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed. You can't rebuild a tower with nothing. What? King of Wands reversed, Tower reversed. You need to stay disconnected from this. You need to move forward on your separate paths and stay disconnected from this. You, you are already doing what you need to do. This was a nostalgic moment and that's all it was. Don't act on it. Don't move forward with it and hold your tower up. Your towers separately. <laughs> okay, Capricorn, I don't know who the heck this is resonating with. I don't know who this message is for, but may the universe and God bless you if it's you. Let me know what happens. I'm going to pick up my cards and read the next sign. Um, sorry for the late message, but apparently the universe really needed someone to hear this. So take care. Be blessed. If you're in the States, have a happy Thanksgiving and I will catch you guys here within the next couple of days for your December read. Thanks for stopping by.